Join me as we hold the first ever master class on the Fox Glacier and make an unbelievable catch in some extreme environments. Cooking. Everyone's doing it these days. Plenty of chefs. Tons of ingredients. How could anything go wrong? That's me, Adventure Aaron. And after my new perspective and tasting my way around the world, I know one thing's for sure. When you earn your keep, things taste that much sweeter. Join me each week as one celebrity chef presents the ultimate challenge, catching a few items with the ultimate reward, the best meal of my life. just as important to catch the meal as it is to cook it. And with my help, you're gonna catch and cook with Adventure Aaron. West Coast is located on the west side of the South Island. It serves host to epic scenery and popular glaciers, one of them called Fox. It's here I decided we would start our challenge, Adventure Style. Berry is a native to this area and a local who can certainly adapt to this environment. This is certainly one challenge that's going to be just as amazing as this Master scene. Master Chef here. Glennie. Aaron, nice you. can to meet certainly you. pick a spot. Nice to meet you. Welcome to my backyard. I this hear is my outdoor kitchen. It's one of the best kitchens I've ever seen. I'm on a glacier. I can't believe it. And yes, I hear you've got a challenge for me. I have. I want you to get one item from this region, and it's a chamois. You turn the challenge down when you come back, and I will cook for you. A chamois. I've never seen a chamois in my life, but I've never seen this spot either, so it's right on par. I'll see you when we come back with that chamois in the Ultimate Master Class for the first time ever on a glacier. Chamois, now that's a species I've never seen before. A popular hunt to this area, the chamois can be caught multiple ways, one of which I'm intrigued to see again. So without further delay, let's bring in the man who knows how to bulldog this animal. In case you missed it, Dawson jumped out of our previous episode to catch a wild pig, and this time, he thinks he can do it again. So here's the plan. Because I'm not yet the experienced hunter, our guide will attempt to jump out and catch the chamois with nothing more than his bare hands. As in the old days, hunters used choppers to surround quick animals. The chamois is said to bury its head in the bush, and because it sees nothing but darkness, believes it's safe. That's exactly how this unfolded, and what you're about to see has never been captured on camera before. With expert pilot and hunter James Scott spotting the chamois, he points it out to Dawson. The plan is to now fly in and capture the animal while myself and cameraman Alex jump out once it's secured. The chopper behind us will then allow the second cameraman to jump out on the ground and document the catch.
Dawson, you down there? That is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. So how the heck do I get down? Okay. I mean, I've never jumped out of a helicopter either, so that was a first. Where are you, man? Oh, I see it. Yep. Just it just drops right off. Dawson, I'm coming at you. All right. All right. What am I doing? Just get over right. the side of here. Get over back legs, will ya? Get you. We'll get the. Yeah. I just gotta make sure we document this catch. This is unbelievable here. All right. So, where are you, man? Just over here, mate. You have to get out on this ledge. I can't get any further. If he pulls me over, I'm gone. Okay. So, what do you want me to do? Just get on behind, behind his hind legs. Yeah. Get hold of his hind legs. Where is his hind legs? Up this side, on my right hand side. Okay. Where's his head? Okay. The terrain can drop off at a 50-foot cliff without notice, and as you can see, we almost lose our cameraman. Hold on a second. You ready? No. Don't go forward, Lance. You're gonna drop right down. Yeah, I'm holding. Right, Aaron, you're gonna have to drag, mate, so I can't get much pressure. I'm on the edge of a bluff. Yep. I want you to pull as hard as you can, and I'll pull at the same time. Where am I going? Just straight up. All right, right. You ready? Yep. Up, go! Oh, ah. oh, you got him? Yeah, I got him. I think I got him. Don't let him go, mate. I'm not gonna let you got him. <sighs> Holy smokes. Oh. Hey! I lost him, sorry, mate. All right, he's got his legs. Oh. Well done, mate. Yeah, oh, no. I'll shake your <laughs> hand. Your That's animal. real Kiwi style. Yeah, I'd say so, and it's not a bad shot. Bad <laughs> shot. Now we just got to go up there and bring it. As Dawson once said, on a day where a hundred things could have gone wrong, none of them did. And it's an experience that will be in everyone's memory box for a lifetime. Only in New Zealand can you find this natural way of earning your keep with your bare hands in the wild west coast. Without a firearm in hand, that's a true adventure. With the catch done, it's time to go back to the glacier for the master class. But before I do, I'm going to do a bit of exploring. Wow. Check out this blue arch here. Holy smokes. It's a monster. Never in my life have I seen anything like this. This blue is just awesome, isn't it? That's amazing. Man, that's one of those things that you see in life that you just, you'll never forget. It's like my own igloo. This is one cool experience, man. This is amazing. Now, this is ice. All right, All right. let's go find that ice wall, eh? Yeah. Oh, man. Every turn gets better and better. Now this is 
A glaze. Let's do it. Ice climbing has always been something I wanted to try, but as you can see, it's not my specialty. You're out? Okay, I'm out. Okay, I'll lower you down. Yeah. No pun intended, I'm ready to pack it in. It's time to hold the first ever master class. Thanks for showing me the ropes. You're welcome. I will, uh, it's time to go bring this catch over and I'll see you at the final table. Thanks, man. Master Chef Glenny. You made the catch. I certainly did, my friend. Well done. Congratulations. I'm here, I'm here for the final recipe. Happy to say that is your catch. Thank you very much. There's your apron. Let's get into it. For the first time ever, we're holding a master class on the glacier. Doc approved and Spike approved. Let me see a Spike, Glenny. All right, now this is how we started <laughs> off. Now, down to business. So what we have is some lovely chamois, New Zealand's most graceful game animal. But what I want to show you, Aaron, is see how you can see with this grain. Yep. It goes like that. With most meat, you will find a grain. And what I do and what is best to do is to cut Find the grain, the way it goes, cut on a 90 degree angle okay, against so that grain. Okay, so for camera purposes, let's just show exactly what you're talking about. Yep. It's right here on the grain. So what I want to do is I just want to find the 90 degree, and I want to make these steaks so that we can cook them really quickly. You need to cook chamois very, very quickly. So don't cut Excellent. yourself. I'm left-handed, so we're going to actually okay. come at it from this angle. We're going to put a little rub around this. Uh, and we're going to use porcini dust. These are wild porcini mushrooms that have been harvested. So what I do is I slice them and I dry them, and then I powder them. So we have this beautiful porcini dust. Give that a beautiful little dust up. We'll give it some cracked black. I'm just going to put a bit of sunflower oil to help work that in. And with our dish, we're going to do a zucchini pickle. What I'm going to use is a beetroot vinegar, and this is a, a homemade vinegar. It's taken two years to make this. So we'll give you a little sniff of that. Two years to make vinegar. That's right. Where does one get a two-year-old vinegar? But what happens when wine sits too long? No way. Yeah. That's, a, that's, no. no that way. Did you do that yourself? That's a beetroot wine that has become vinegar, yes. So we're just going to salt this. And what we want to do is get some water onto that. So do you want to find some glacial water to, to soak the zucchini in? I don't think there's a shortage, no problem. Yeah. So we're just salting the zucchini and that is just going to soften it up a bit and, and make it take the marinade. Oh, yeah. How much do you need? You can cover it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I was going to say my hands are a little numb. Yeah. Okay. And, and in with that as well, I'm going to put just a little bit of red onion. that through. I'm just going to let that sit to the side as well. Got it. Okay, and now we're going to get our cooker. All right, so what's the process? Okay, You're... so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little ducker for our salad. I've got some wild walnuts. And what's really good to do with spices, you know, I mean, you can buy this common seed. Yep. You can buy common already ground, but when you buy the seed and you grind it fresh, it's a world away from the powdered stuff. You're throwing it in the pan. No oil, just hot. No, no oil, no oil. We're Best just, way to we're roast just it. roasting it. Okay. Yep. A little bit of fennel seed. Some beautiful sesame seeds. It's amazing flavor. Some coriander seeds. So they're just gonna roast away nicely. Once we start to smell the aromatics come out of it, then we're gonna stop and we're gonna pound them okay. into our ducker. Okay, so they're going to cool down. 
and then we're going to pound them in our mortar and pestle. So let's put them over here okay. just to cool down. And we're going to start our pickling liquid. So we're going to start with our vinegar. So normally you would just use like a, a white wine vinegar or a white vinegar, but we're going to use this groovy beetroot homemade vinegar. So we're going to put in there some brown mustard seeds. Are you looking to bring this to a simmer? Yep, it's just going to simmer for about three minutes. Okay. Some brown mustard seeds, some mustard powder, basic pickling liquid, sugar and vinegar, a few spices. And I have a very groo groovy ingredient here. It's pepper, it's kelp pepper. So I'm going to put that into our zucchini pickle. Just okay. for a bit of added extra. Next, we're going to pound our ducker. Pound ducker. The rest of these in here. Okay. Same thing here? Yep. Give them a good old pound. And you start to get a really beautiful aroma come off those. Put that in with the walnuts. And that's one element of our salad. Bring in the porcinis. Bring in the porcinis. All right. We're going to fry these and put them into our salad as another wild element. We're going to slice our avocado. Okay. You just run your knife around or run your avocado around the knife. Look at that, beautiful. So we can probably start to do a bit of frying now. All right. We have sizzle, so that's what we want. Hot pan. Hot pan. What are you looking for in terms of how well you want to get it done? Like a steak, medium rare? Uh, I'm thinking rare to medium rare. Okay. Like more to the rare side. We're going to give it a good little rest as well, just to let it relax back while we put the rest of the salad together. All right. Put the mushrooms. So here we are. So with my garlic clove, I'm going to crush it. But I'm going to leave the skin on it, because that's going to stop the garlic from becoming bitter. It's going to let the garlic flavour go through, but it's not going to burn the garlic, which can happen so very easily, and you get a bitter flavour from it. And look, Interesting. just because it's such a great marriage, I'm just going to put a little bit of rosemary into here as well. Once again, we've got another episode with some really good wine. This one, Mount Difficulty. I mean, is that appropriate or what? <laughs> There's nothing difficult about this. Is there? Nothing at all. All right, so we're actually going to cook with the wine, a little bit of cooking with wine that we're going to drink later today. Yeah little element of um, dried herb and things that come through in the Pinot. Mm -hmm. So that's something we really see here. It's not just the sort of pure classic sort of black fruits and red fruits of the forest, but you get a real nice sort of savouriness that comes through with the Pinot, and it's that savouriness we're sort of looking to, to blend here. So we're just going to just deglaze a little bit of the, the red. Look at that, sensational. One of my favourite smells right there. And I have some lovely beef demi-glaze here just to make a beautiful jus. It almost doesn't get better than that. When you're talking about meat, mushrooms, rosemary, garlic, jus, we're kicking a goal. <laughs> we we are. are. That looks perfect. It's right. still cooking when you took it off, right? So that's yep. an art too? Yep. We gotta, yep. You gotta play into that, right? Yeah. All right. So we're just gonna throw this back into the sauce just to heat it through. And the sauce is gonna dress our salad. We're gonna have a warm salad up here on the glacier. Why not? Okay, so that's ready to go in. So I'm going to just uh, slice these flowers. So we'll get our lovely watercress. So let's put the meat in there now. Okay. Meat is in. And here's our zucchini pickle. Okay, I'm just going to drain the water off that. Put our pickling liquid over it. So there's our zucchini pickle. Doesn't that look fantastic? Now we're going, we're going camping style, yep. right on the slate. Is that right? That's right. All straight right. onto the slate. I'm going to let you do this because this is the best part. And... Okay, I'm just going to dress the salad with a little bit of the jus. We're going to put our avocado in here quickly. And just because we are using avocado, and just to freshen it all up, there's nothing wrong with a bit of lemon, one of my most favourite fruits. This is going to be on the base. I'm going to lay 
lay this on here like this. It's just going to wilt that watercress and just give that a beautiful texture. I would have never thought that what I caught would have ended up like that, but now I can't wait to sit down with a few other people, Angio, who helped us get this done, and we're going to give this a go. I can't wait either. The but you know what? There's one more thing. This is our zucchini pickle. Go for it. Benny, unbelievable. Thank you very much. I don't, I don't even care. This is history in the making. A this first time for New Zealand. A master class, and you saw it right here. Go the chamois. Go, go the chamois. Let's go give it a Let's go. Let's eat. All right. It's been uh, really good going for an ice climb with Aaron, and uh, it's been great to be able to host him here on the Fox Glacier. And um, looking really, really looking forward to this uh, meal on the glacier. First time for me, that's for sure. We succeeded, and now we've come up onto the glacier for the master class, and I have to say, this has got to be the greatest spot in New Zealand to have a lunch. All right, guys, I couldn't have done this without you guys. Everyone here helped to it, and this is a salute and a cheers to one of the most remarkable remote locations I've seen in my life, and I couldn't have done it without you. So, Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to Cheers. another great meal of a lifetime. Cheers, Aaron. Thank you. West Coast will not only go down in the record books for this master class, but for the memory books too. Jumping from helicopters, attempting to climb ice, it's all one of the most enjoyable moments of my life. I can certainly say I will be back again very soon.